All right, guys, just wanted to let you know that the Squirrel Tuned website is up, and that link is down in the description. So go check it out, squirreltuned.com. Uh, right now, there's only stickers available, but I will be uh, adding shirts whenever I can. Um, I have those in the uh, design process right now, and I think you guys will like them. Anyways, here's what the stickers look like. Uh, pretty cool, little, uh, you know, squirrel holding the turbo, of course. And then uh, I also wanted to give a shout out to uh, Burn Down, his channel, and his name is actually Dane Thompson. A pretty cool guy, he does some like junkyard style stuff, you know. Uh, I think he has a uh, stock bottom in and maybe a 6.0 or maybe a 5.3 in his uh, Malibu and uh, has some cool builds on his channel, so go check him out. And if you came from his channel, I uh, appreciate you guys joining. Here's uh, another little cool sticker he sent. And uh, he also is, uh, he set me up with uh, SoCal Sticker Kings who is actually, who made these stickers for me, uh, gave me a pretty good deal on them, so I uh, appreciate them. So, anyways, we'll uh, get right into the video. I finally got some parts in, so we'll uh, show you guys that and uh, get started on putting the car together. All right, guys, here we are with the car, and as you'll see, or as you may have seen before on my Facebook page, um, whenever I posted my website, I do have the turbo sitting in the car, uh, right here, this nice, uh, pretty forced inductions uh, Garrett GTR 88 millimeter. So 88 millimeter right there on the uh, inducer or whatever. Um, much bigger on the inside. It's like 141 millimeter. It's uh, one of the class limited 88 millimeters, pretty much. Uh, it's a pretty popular turbo in X275. There's been some uh, cars going really, really fast with this turbo. And it's uh, definitely way too much for this little motor here. But um, I kind of got it with uh, plans for a later motor, and I also wanted, whenever I originally got the S366s, I thought I was getting uh, way too much turbo to where I could blow this thing up, and you know, turns out I was just about maxed out on the S366s, and this thing was still kicking, so, you know, had to go real big this time. You know, we might have some trouble spooling it, but I'm sure the uh, Hughes two-stage dump valve will help us out with that, um, since they uh, hopped on board. Um, also, it has the tile housing with the uh, 115 AR. I talked about it a little bit in uh, another video, but I um, figured I'd show that again because probably a lot of people didn't see that. But as you'll see, I have the motor plate in here. It is not uh, bolted up or anything. Um, you can actually see that the bolt holes are a little misaligned. So um, I may have measured slightly wrong or, um, you know, who knows. But it's uh, it sits on the bars like that on the sides. Um, it's pretty cool, uh, pretty, it's pretty close really, so I think uh, I may have to move the engine a little bit, I may have to lift it up a little, and uh, it might line up, or maybe uh, grind out a little bit on the uh, sides to get it to sit right. And you'll also see down here the uh, fuel pump mount, um, you'll also see inside there where this uh, mounts, there is actually not a, um, a hole drilled in the block there. There is in the aluminum blocks, but this is an iron block of course because you can't get an aluminum block 4.8. So um, I may have to drill that or I may just end up putting a nut on the other side of this one if I can. And uh, just, you know, either way, I was told that two would be fine. So, but I think it would probably be better with, uh, you know, this bottom one and this one than this one, but uh, we'll see, we'll figure that out. Um, and the fuel pump of course will go there. Uh, but yeah, whenever all this stuff showed up, and I kind of figured out that the uh, little issues with the motor plate and the fuel pump where, or the fuel pump mount where I might have to drill into the block, which I've never done that. It's a little bit frightening, um, a little bit overwhelming, but uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Um, I might make some mistakes, might screw some stuff up, but that's part of it. That's part of learning. I've gotten used to that, um, you know, off video. But whenever I've got hundreds or possibly thousands of people watching me, it kind of is a little bit different. So I'm going to have to get used to that too. But, you know, everybody makes mistakes. I can't expect to be perfect, uh, even though everyone would like to be. But uh, maybe, you know, if I make some mistakes uh, and show you guys, maybe it'll help you out with your builds. So, you know, it'll all be worth it. And uh, in the end, I'll get it figured out and we'll uh, get it doing what it's supposed to be doing. So, uh also, I got the alternator mount, but I don't have that on. That will go on the uh, the uh, bottom passenger side of the engine. Um, I decided I wasn't going to do that originally. Uh, the car is 16 volt. I planned on just you know charging it in between rounds and stuff, but 
I didn't really want to deal with that. And then also I, uh, you know, kind of would like to do some of the like true street type, type stuff where there's uh, cruises and things like that. So obviously no alternator wouldn't work for that. So I went ahead and got the alternator mount and uh, I'm going to get an alternator. Just, uh, I may not run it in the first place to, um, just to keep some weight off of the car. I'm not really sure, I haven't decided that. But um, I wanted to make sure I got it before I started building the turbo kit, just so I made sure everything cleared right. So um, another thing to mention about the turbo kit actually is, uh, as you've seen, I do have the turbo um, sitting on this uh, Maven style mount or whatever that uh, you can see the other one on the other side. The car previously had twin S485s, and uh, he had you know one mounted here, one mounted there. So I uh, originally planned on using this same mount for this turbo. However. Um, you may not be able to tell from the video, but this turbo is much, much larger than an S400. So um, it's actually not going to work here. I went ahead and I tried to put the uh, fender on and the front bumper. The fender fits, of course, but the front bumper is not even close. And as you can see, this is the headlight plug right here. So, you know, the headlight would be right in where this is. So that's not going to work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move it probably uh, right in the center. I've always kind of wanted a car with a center mount turbo anyways. I just... You know, wanted to kind of try and make it cheaper and easier, but you know, I might as well do it right and uh, do it the way that I want it. Um, you know, I probably won't uh, rebuild this or you know have to change anything for a long time. Uh, this turbo will you know probably make 1,800 horsepower, maybe even more with the uh, right combination. So, um, and then I can also get bigger versions of this turbo. Uh, forced inductions actually goes up to 107 millimeter, which you know probably make 2,500 or more horsepower so I don't plan to need more than that for a really long time so should uh, all work together should be able to change to aftermarket block or anything like that and still be able to use the same turbo kit and everything so might as well do it the way that I want it now and yeah, spend a little extra money now and uh, not have to spend it later on uh, anyways uh, I'll get started on this and start messing with, messing with stuff I'm probably gonna move the engine a little bit see if I can get these to line up so anyways, I'll show you guys that. guys so I got the motor plate on and um, as uh, expected I am going to have to modify it a little bit to make it work right um, I'm gonna have to get some tools for that in order to uh, kind of grind it down and uh, make it fit a little bit better it's uh, right now it's holding the engine too high in the front which is putting at too much of an angle so uh, we're going to have to grind that down a little bit as I said and uh, get that fixed up but I also uh, the part that I haven't mentioned I got put on um, the 417 Motorsports water block which uh, you'll see right there, a nice pretty piece right there. Um, I am going to be running an electric water pump, so I will be uh, plugging probably these uh, top two. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll maybe uh, both on one side. We'll, uh, well, no, that probably wouldn't be a very good idea, but um, we'll figure that out. But uh, then also it has these ports up here with the uh, where you can put um, pressure sensors. So I am going to be putting 
uh, coolant pressure sensor probably in there um, so that'll help out and then I might also use the other one as a return for the uh, steam vents and also you may notice that these uh, steam vent um, the normal like stock one that I had I just had the the two front ones and the back ones are blocked off it uh, isn't gonna work with the motor plate so uh, I'll probably have to get one of the uh, nice fancy kits that I was avoiding getting but uh, you also see um, I didn't end up drilling the block but I just put this in there to to kind of mock it up a little bit um, that's not actually screwed into anything but it is screwed in the bottom and I've got the uh, fuel pump and the uh, pulley on there um, and I did uh, test fit it with the header as you'll see um, and it was actually it was super close so uh, there is one more hole lower on this side so I can put the fuel pump even lower so I think whenever it's on that setting it'll be all right and then as I said the uh, fuel tank a fuel cell is going to be like right up here and then I'll have it feed into there and then I may have to um, get creative with how I uh, run the uh, actual feed from that pump to the rails it might have to go um, actually under and around or something like that I'm not sure if I'm going to have much room to uh, feed it and then uh, put the uh, pressure of the um, outlet out on that same side so We'll uh, figure that out whenever we get there, but I'm making some progress. Um, got some things to uh, modify a little bit. You know, the motor play right there where it's sitting on the sitting on the bars. Um, it's not going to just sit on the bars like this. There is uh, some tabs that'll be welded on, and then um, it'll weld on behind here, and then it'll be similar to these, um, and it'll bolt right in there. So it'll sit on the bars, and then it'll also bolt up. So that should work well, but. Uh, Anyways, that's it for now until I can get some tools, so I'll uh, see you guys soon.